Welcome. In STAD Pro, all BEAM members must have a section profile assigned for analysis. STAD supports a wide variety of section profiles, including section database profiles, where you can select the appropriate sections from an extensive database of common catalog sections for regions around the world, and prismatic sections, where you can define the section dimensions for a variety of common shapes. But what if you need to analyze a structure with custom profiles or built-up shapes? The Shape Editor, now available in STAD Pro 2024, can be used to calculate accurate section properties for custom profiles. In this video, you will learn how to access the Shape Editor, create a custom built-up section, and perform an advanced finite element analysis of the custom profile to calculate accurate section properties. Let's get started. For this structure, we will use the Shape Editor to create a custom built-up section and to calculate the accurate section properties for the long span girders at the lower platform. Our first step in this workflow is to launch the Shape Editor. To launch the Shape Editor, select the Specification tab and click on the Shape Editor icon. Note that the Structural Select Entitlements License is required for the Section Editor. Now that the Section Editor is open, we are ready to create the built-up section. For this structure, our built-up section will consist of a standard W shape, a standard channel section, and two plates. Let's start with a standard W shape. To place a standard shape, click Section Place Standard Shape from the menu bar. In the Shape Editor, you can parametrically create a variety of standard shapes by defining the key dimensions. For this exercise, we will place a standard wide flange section that is roughly 12 inches deep by 8 inches wide. After entering the appropriate section properties, click OK. Notice that the standard shape has been added to the main window and the appropriate section properties have been calculated. Next, let's add the standard channel section. In the shape editor, you can pull and edit standard shapes from one of the section libraries installed with a program. To load a particular library, click File, Open Library in the menu bar, and then select the library that you will be using. Next, click Section, Place Library Section from the menu bar. For this built-up section, we will be using a standard C 10 by 20. After selecting the section, click OK and notice that the section has been added at the center of the view window. Before we move on to the next component of this built-up section, let's rotate the channel and place it below the bottom flange of the wide flange shape. To rotate the channel, select the channel in the main window and click Geometry, Rotate in the menu bar. In the Rotate dialog, enter an angle of negative 90 degrees to rotate the channel in the clockwise direction. Next. Let's move the channel. The geometry menu has several tools to move a shape or section. For this example, the stack vertical command will ensure that the channel is placed at the correct location, directly below the wide flange shape. To use this command, start by selecting the wide flange shape and then select the channel section in the view window. In the menu bar, click geometry, stack vertical. Since the wide flange section was selected first, it will remain stationary while the channel section has been moved. Finally, let's add the plates to the web of the wide flange shape. In the Shape Editor, open or closed profiles can be created graphically using the Shape Toolbar. For this example, we will create the plate by clicking on the rectangle icon. In the main view window, 
gra graphically create a rectangle shape. After the shape is created, double click on the rectangle and specify the appropriate size and position. Next, we will repeat this process to add the plate to the opposite side of the flange. Now that we have created the built up section, let's start the process of calculating the section properties. To ensure the calculations are accurate, align the built up section to the centroid by selecting all of the shapes, and then clicking geometry, align to centroid, followed by centroid in the menu bar. Notice that the shapes have shifted in the view window and the centroid of the built up section is now at the appropriate location. Now, let's calculate the section properties. For non-standard sections, the shape editor uses a finite element technique to accurately compute the torsional constant, warping constant, and the location of the shear center for the section. The calculation of section properties using this technique requires the shape to be analyzed. In the menu bar, click Section, Analyze Shape, then Mesh Size. In the Advanced Calculations dialog, enter the Mesh Edge Length. Note that the accuracy of the section properties will be reflected in the size of the elements in the finite element mesh, and more accurate results may be obtained by refining the mesh size. Also notice that small areas such as fillets can be included or ignored during the mesh generation. Once you have specified the mesh, click OK. Then, to complete the advanced calculation, click Section, followed by Analyze Shape and Advanced Calculation. In the Section Properties table, notice that the section properties for the built-up section have now been calculated, including the torsional parameters. At this point, we have completed the process of creating a built-up section in the shape editor and calculating the accurate section properties. The last step in our workflow is to create a user table so that the section can be assigned to the long span girders in STAD Pro. To create a user table, click File, then Export, then Profile UPT. In the Export to STAD Pro, create a new file, enter the section name, and then select the general type of section. Once finished, click OK, and then you can exit the shape editor. Once back in the main STAD Pro interface, you can access the user table you just created by selecting the specification tab in the ribbon toolbar, and then clicking user table, followed by user table manager. This command will allow you to access the user table you just created. Once selecting the appropriate user table, click OK. Next, assign the section from this user table by clicking the user table, assign user table profile from the ribbon toolbar. Then, select the built up section you just created in the shape editor and click add. You'll notice that this new section has been added to the Properties dialog. Finally, assign the custom section to your long span girders. This completes the process for creating custom built up sections in the Shape Editor and then assigning the accurate section properties in STAD Pro in preparation for an analysis. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.